Those of you who follow me on Twitter may be aware that I'm living, largely speaking, on my own in my parents' house at the moment. This is quite weird for me because although I've lived away from my parents in the past, I've never lived in a house away from my parents in the past. And I've ended up with all these little ticks that I could have never guessed I was going to develop. The main one is to do with the way that I tend to be eating. The stereotype of young people living on their own is that they just eat crap all the time. Just junk food, takeaways, everything. I'm, I'm not doing that. I'm eating properly. I'm, I'm eating food. But I'm pretty certain that the way that I'm eating the food is weird. When my sister's at home and we cook together and eat together, I'll sit either at the dining table or in the living room in front of the TV and I'll eat my food like a proper grown-up. When I'm by myself, I tend to just kind of stand in the kitchen every now and again putting the plate down and wandering off and doing something and coming back to it. I've always been a really, really quick eater, but I'm finding it's taken me about half an hour to clear my plate just because there's so much other stuff to be getting on with. I have to say that this isn't a completely new development because I've always eaten my breakfast whilst wandering around the house ever since I was about 12, 13. I honestly never thought that this was a weird thing to do. I thought it was completely normal to the extent that a few years ago my sister had a friend of hers who's from France come over to stay for a week and this girl would sit down at the table and lay herself a place and eat her breakfast sitting there like a proper civilised human being and I would think what a weirdo. One thing that has changed slightly in terms of my food as well other than the way that I eat it is what I'm eating. I, obviously when my mum and dad are here or when my sister's here I eat proper food like fajitas or roast chicken or bananas and custard. When I'm by myself there's more kind of improvisation. For example tonight I ate this which looks quite nice, quite tasty, bit of pasta with some other stuff in there. Let me tell you now that in that bowl is spaghetti, cucumber, bacon, a hard boiled egg and some cheese. And it tasted fucking weird. <laughs> when my parents are here and they cook a proper meal, they make sure that they start cooking everything at the right time so that everything is ready together. I tend not to bother too much with timings and I also really really hate making more than one pan dirty so I tend to cook everything in one pan one thing at a time and eat it as it's done which leads to a situation like the one that I had last night when my sister got home from work and asked me what I would had for my dinner and I replied that I'd had a full English which was true I'd eaten all of the composite parts of a full English breakfast but I'd eaten them all one thing at a time so I'd cooked myself some bacon and then I'd eaten it and then I'd cooked myself some sausages and I'd eaten them and then I'd cooked myself some eggs and I'd eaten them and then I'd cooked myself some mushrooms and I'd eaten them and then I'd cooked myself some tomatoes which took a really long time and I'd eaten them. Then I'd cooked myself some baked beans and I'd eaten them. And then I'd cooked myself some toast and I'd eaten it. Then I finished up by making myself a cup of tea and drinking it. That's a full English. That's all of the parts of a full English breakfast. It just took me over an hour to cook and eat it. And then finally I'd cooked myself some toast. You're a cunt. How many fucking trains does there need to be in the world, you bastards?